Hi guys. So I'm so used to saying hi Cancer, hi Scorpio, hi Pisces. Do you like that? I just went through all the water signs. That's such a moon thing to do. Oh my gosh. Hi Taurus. Hi Aries. Hi Virgo. Hi Capricorn. Hi everybody. If I missed out on you, let me just go really quickly down the line. No, I'm just kidding. But thank you for being here. Um, welcome back. The back, I feel like I said that to myself too. I'm like, hey, welcome back. Um, so I went through quite a bit of upgrades, which caused my body to really feel it, right? Because we, as spiritual beings, being in a human vessel, are also lifting and raising the vibration of our vessel ourselves. So there's a couple things I saw. Um, so when you're watching this, I'm tapped into July. It's funny, I almost said June. My timeline is so funky. I'm sure you guys are feeling that too. So right now, um, it's July 20th, 2020, the new moon, okay? Depending on um, where you're located, um, your hemisphere, all of that, which country you're in, all of that. But around that energy is what we're really tapping into. Specifically, I'm going to go ahead and go into July 20th, 2020. Ooh, 222. I like that too, don't you? All about duality and balance, which is interesting because that's actually one of the things they told me. So the first thing when we come into this new moon, I saw the three of wands in my mind's eye. And three of wands is on to the next destination. They quite literally said, what's the next destination? On to the next destination. Okay, so what? During this downtime of COVID, this rest period where we should be flowing like the moon. If I feel like moving and doing, I move and I do. If I'm tired and I need to rest, I listen to my body. Quite literally a reset so that we can start listening to those inner murmurings, those little, in, little intuitive hits. But I have been feeling this energy of the Capricorn and Cancer where it's like, yes, I want to rest, but I also need to get to work, right? So if you're starting to have little nudges of creative ideas and things like that, start writing them down. Start pushing towards them. Rome wasn't built in a day. What baby steps can I take in the here and now? One, that bring me joy. Two, where I can start manifesting and pulling whatever it is I truly desire. But they said on to the next destination. Also really important in these times of chaos, Oh my gosh, externally everything feels crazy, right? But this is the time to do that hermit mode. Hermit mode means going within. Instead of looking so externally for all the answers, I have them all. I have them all. My higher self knows, and I'm connected to my spirit guides of the light, my past down loved ones, like my archangels of the highest, Christ of light of the middle path, for you star seeds, um, collective energy as well. Remember, you have so much support. Like support, it's not even funny. So much support, it's insane. And they want to help. These loving beings of the light want to help and assist you. And don't forget to call on them. Because you can ask for all these blessings, but you have to allow. You have to allow. It's such a lesson of flow and allow. It's kind of bonkers that I'm still seeing that kind of energy. So I want to go back into balance. And there's a balancing of emotions that needs to be going on right now. It doesn't mean you're not allowed to feel things. You will be feeling weird things, especially from the healing that's going on in the collective of these lower frequency paradigms, okay? So you will be feeling things, okay? And if you feel angry, that's okay. If you feel sad, that's okay. Feel the feelings. Know that you're feeling them, but don't sit in them. Don't claim them. I am not angry. I am feeling angry, okay? Why am I feeling angry? What do I need to do to shift my perspective? What do I need to learn from this? Just like our past traumas. If you start to notice things, especially with Mercury retrograde that is just finished up a couple days ago, now coming into Mercury um, going direct in Cancer. Oh my God, how family oriented is that? So also reminding you of family traumas, relationship trauma, safety. Cancer is all about home, home and safe. I'm safe right here, right? All those traumas coming up to the surface for you to heal. What did I learn from that? I am not my traumas. That's what Spirit just said. I am not my traumas. And it's really hard to remember externally. You could be seeing this in your family unit and your partnerships, again, on the actual collective as well. You're going to be feeling all these feelings and you might start to actually get excited for this new creative idea or this new way of being or you're breaking through all of these paradigms and realizing, oh my God, I am a powerful ass being, right? But everyone else doesn't get it. That's what it feels like sometimes, very orphaned energy. Oh my gosh, but you have so much love and support. You also have a community of people that are light workers, star seats, earth angels, however it resonates, mystics. Oh my gosh, connected to Mother Gaia. There are so many beautiful beings here to help assist you on this 3D plane, going into a 5D plane as well. 
Okay, just remember that. Um, so the real thing they wanted me to talk about was keeping in balance of your emotions. I can only control myself, I can't control them. And you are allowed to be excited for these new things coming up. You may want to be discerning. Just because I don't allow people to block my blessings. I don't tell them things. <laughs> I'm very like private about that. But at the end of the day, no one can take away your blessing or your power unless you allow them to. Lots of heart energy too, especially with all this cancer energy, allowing forgiveness. Mm. I forgive them. It does not justify what they what they have done to me. But it's not even to me what they've done because that's their truth, right? There was a point when that truth resonated with me. But here I am now. Here you guys are now. This doesn't resonate anymore. Okay. So I forgive them because they're just at a different frequency. No wrong, no right, just frequency. Okay, so I'm getting pulled. Let's get some tarot out. Oh, I want to do the mystics. Okay, so let's get out however many cards they want to get out. I'm hoping for one, but like at the end of the day, if they come out, they come out. So thank you so much, spirit guides of the light, past down, loved ones, light, and archangels of the highest, Christ, light, and middle path. Thank you for being here, for loving us, supporting us. What does the collective need to know for July 20th, 2020? Mm, this new moon, yes. What's your next step? Where's your next destination? Feels like kind of adventure and like be excited about it. And just because everyone else around you may not be supportive, understanding, or they might be going through their own internal conflict, doesn't mean you don't have a right to enjoy your life in the here and now. What brings me joy in the here and now? Yes, that's beautiful. Any messages for the collective for July 20th, 2020? Any messages for the collective for July 20th, 2020? Any messages? <laughs> oh my God. I saw Queen of Swords pop out too. It was like almost like, ooh, yeah, ooh. Okay, this is good for you guys to know. Queen of Swords is popping out in reverse a little bit. Watch the tongue. Watch what you're speaking verbally. Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, I love Queen of Swords. That's kind of the energy I like to tap into. Very throat chakra speaking truth energy. But when she's in a reverse, she's just a little spitting out too much truth. And kind of understanding like these frequency down here, they just don't understand my truth yet. That's all. They just don't understand. No big deal. Okay, so it did come out, so I'm going to read it like this. <gasps> Eight of Pentacles, what did I say? What's the next destination? Eight of Pentacles is all about your craft. Very creative energy. Oh, and that makes so much sense in Cancer because that gives me so much divine feminine empress, sacral chakra energy. Like really mastering your own craft. And it's like if you guys had a career change or if you have like a change of heart of like something you're drawn to, you're like, oh shit, oh shit, not only does this make me happy, this is my gift. I am talented at that. And for those of you who aren't here yet, start doing, I love this because she's doing creative shit. She has all these pinnacles and in front of her, she's, she's just creating. And a really good way to start tapping into the creative side of things, that empress energy, that creative fertile energy, the best way to do that is by creating. Whether it's poetry, singing, dancing, moving your body, however that resonates, do it. What brings you joy? And also another lesson I've learned is like, what bring, brought me joy as a kid, right? So what, I love to sing, am I great at it? No. Do I love to write poetry? Yes. I feel like I'm a deep soul. You know what I mean? It's just little things like that. And then all of a sudden you're going to be like, oh, how is this connected to my soul purpose? Because the most interesting thing about gifts and soul purposes, they just said it, mastering your craft. Yeah. The most interesting thing about your gift and your soul purpose is normally something you really love to do. Ah, uh, I'm so happy that came out. We're going to get some Queen of the Moon. Screw it. I, um... Very rarely work with this deck unless it's like such moon energy. We're also in cancer season. I feel like this is just this is just like what we need right now. We need moon energy. There's a little baby, uh I can't tell if he's a moth or a gnat, but either way, thank you for being here. <laughs> Gnats are like respect the little things and moths are very um spiritual, like high priestess energy. We'll take it as a sign. All right, let's see what is going on for this new moon, July 20th, 2020. What does the collective need to know? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides of the Light. Past it. Oh, do you see that? Look at that. And that's right under darkness, too. A lot of you going through your dark night of the soul. You know what's weird? Um, when I was shuffling, this card popped out. Masculine. Masculine needs fucking healing. Yes. Think about masculine energy. 
what it represents and how we can hone it in and use it in a more high vibrational way. What is masculine energy? First off, it's our solar plexus. A lot of us are coming into this balance, again, balance of our creative side, coming into our solar plexus so that we are able to manifest whatever it is that we truly desire. Whatever this is for you, pull it towards you. Imagine having it and say it's yours and it's yours. Manifestations happen really fast. And remembering to speak with intent that also pulls in manifestations towards you. Um, masculine's doing a lot of healing right now, especially if you look on the political standpoint as well as the collective as a whole. Masculine energy is power, money, things like that. But that's when it's in that low frequency. Masculine energy, when it's in a higher frequency, can still be power, but it's using power for the collective, using power for Mother Earth, using abundance, to know that not to be stingy or say there's never enough, but to know, oh my gosh, I am so supported by Mother Earth that I have more than enough. Really healing of the masculine, and it's really needed. So you might be noticing this within yourself, within partnerships and relationships, and you might also be noticing this in the political stage, which you definitely are. I'm really glad the masculine came out. I've been seeing that for a while. Um, let's go ahead and get an animal totem. I love animal totems also. Yeah, it's like coming into that balance of the masculine and feminine, and I don't even want to, they want me to say healthy, but it's like, healthy is so many different things for so many different people. I want to say like higher frequency way of a balance of a masculine and feminine, and kind of taking away the gender roles, and remembering like, remembering that we have both of these energies within us, and really honoring that. And a lot of you are coming into your power of the masculine awakening. Um, I also see that as well as masculine. Um, remember, we all have masculine and feminine, but incarnated as a divine masculine too. Yeah, and that's, that's like a lunar moon god. It says lunar god masculine. Look at that full moon too. It's almost for me like masculine is going to be doing a lot of healing with this Capricorn and Cancer energy, especially from like family trauma. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. All right, let's see. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides of the Light, Past Down Levels Light, and Archangels of the Highest Christ to Light of the Middle Path. What does the collective need to know for July 20th, 2020? Is there any animals we should be calling to? And remembering with animals, guys, if you see it, just look it up. Mm, what's a butterfly mean? What's a fox mean? You know what I mean? If you're seeing them in your dreams, on TV, out in Mother Earth, making sure you're staying really grounded and going outside in Mother Earth at these times, okay? Any messages for July 20th, 2020 for the collective? Oh my god. <gasps> They'll take the one that's face down. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Okay. We have whale spirit. Shut the front door. Oh my god, guys, look at my power hand. Mm, okay, I'm going to stop the camera and I'll download on this. Give me just a second. Okay, I'm so used to recording 30 to 50 minute reads for my like personal reads. So I'm like super paranoid about the camera hitting 20 minutes and dying. So bear with me. Whale spirit. Agility. Imagu imagination. I just made imagination and intuition a word. Agility. Imagination. Intuition. I told you guys, trust that inner murmuring. And I want to teach you guys something too, really quick. So I went under a quantum hypnosis while I was on this reset for myself. And although I saw past lives that meant things to me and they were intense and beautiful and I know why I am the way I am, you're not supposed to get too caught up in past lives. It's like, what did I learn from this past life? Or am I still carrying anything in my body? And I was, I had a sword wound that I was still carrying in my body for years. So it's really important that you know those so you can heal them, but not to get too far down the rabbit hole with past lives, because here we are in the here and now in this life, okay? So I went under quantum healing, and it was so crazy because I thought it was gonna be this like crazy, magical experience, and all it made me realize is that I was so already in tap with my higher self that the way I answered those questions, even under hypnosis, was exactly what I already knew. So instead of looking externally, you have all the answers within. And the craziest thing about the higher self, it's the first intuitive hit. And then the ego steps in. It's like, whoa, no, you can't do this because of this and because of what this person said. Trust that first inner murmuring, okay? So it says, you are being guided to focus on emotional stability. Same thing I saw at the beginning, that balance of emotions. Here's masculine, here's feminine. How can I come in balance? Yep. And listen to your inner guidance. 
The time has come for you to jump into action and go after what you desire. Be playful and splash in the waters of life, creating new waves of abundance for you and others to enjoy. We already saw this. But also, whale spirit, whale people, very important. I also learned something new. One of my friends and I did a little... I want to say like we did a journey. We did a journey or we, we went to many places. She took me many places and we just amplified the energy. And one thing I want you guys to know is like as above, so below. So the support we have above, we also have in the ocean. Okay. Whale people are a big deal right now. And I know for some of you that's probably like, what the fuck? But this is very important to know how much support you have. Whale people also very coming to light at this time because of the energy. But this goes back to everything I was saying. Coming into your balance of emotions. Spirit already told us that. Also putting into action. What is it that this is for me? What is my craft? And is it my first thought? Oh, but here's all these reasons I can't do it. No, guys. Trust yourself. Stop doubting yourself. You can do it. And then also coming into abundance, really pulling it towards you. Look, this is literally how you manifest. You create, you just go into your solar plexus, your divine masculine, and you pull it. You pull it towards you. Say you have it. Imagine, Spirit always says this, and I love when they say this. Imagine a life exactly how you want it, and say you have it. Say you have it. Say you have everything, right? Beautiful. I want to read this again. You're being guided to focus on emotional stability. Listen to your inner guidance. The time has come for you to jump into action. Go after what you desire. Be playful and splash in the waters of life of creating new waves of abundance for you and others to enjoy. Yeah, and the healthy masculine too. I do this for all. I do this for the whole collective because we are all collective. Also in the here and now, what is this that brings me joy, fun, creativity in the here and now? Okay, everyone's freaking out about the future. I can't fix the past, but I don't need to fix it. I'm healing my traumas. I'm healing my traumas. I'm healing my traumas. Oh my gosh, I'm getting pulled everywhere. Let's do, speaking of healing traumas, let's do the healing mantra. Oh my gosh, thank you for these beautiful messages. Spirit guides of the light, pass down love and light and archangels of the highest Christ of light of the middle path. Are there any healing mantras for the collective on July 20th, 2020? The new moon. Yes, for most of us. Still tap into that moon energy. That new moon energy sits a couple days before and after as well, even if it's not technically here for you. Okay. <clears throat> Any messages for the collective for July 20th, 2020? Any healing for the collective for July 20th, 2020? Any healing for the collective for July 20th, 2020? Oh my goodness, we got like a hundred, but we're gonna take, one of them's in there, but it's too many. Let's cut the deck again. Oh, how silly. If I had it my way, I would read this entire deck to you. <laughs> but I wanna find something that's specifically for July 20th, 2020. I'll promise on uh, July 21st, I'll get another one out for you. I'm gonna tap into that energy after this. There we go. Oh shit, guys. Oh, look at this says processing grief. Whoa. My losses prove how deeply I loved. Oh, that's right. What is a loss? A loss really on this plane can be so many things, but at the end of the day, it's always a lesson. You are allowed to feel grief. You are allowed to feel sadness. You are allowed to miss the people that have fallen off, right? You're allowed to feel sad that maybe this person doesn't understand your truth anymore. You're allowed to. You are a spiritual being having a 3D experience. It's okay for you to feel your feelings. Sit in those feelings and be like, what did I learn from this? But it's a reminder, like, my capacity for love. Say that to yourself. Be like, oh my gosh, the reason that this hurts my heart is because of the capacity of my love. And I told this to one of my friends the other day, too. Like, so much love in the heart space that sometimes it's just so protected. Even a pendulum will say it's not open. Or energetically, you can go see a healer. Or maybe you just feel like your heart chakra is not open. Maybe you're just protected. Maybe you're just so special. And your capacity for love is so astronomical, so past this 3D. And also, it's really good for you to be in touch with these emotions. Maybe there are things and people that you've lost and that you miss. 
and it's resurfacing and you're like, oh my God, I thought I, I thought I healed this. Or maybe you're like, oh, I thought I hid that so deep in my body. But everything coming to the surface is for you to understand the, like the capability, the capacity for love that you have. My losses prove how deeply I loved. That's right. So people fall off. Things fall off. If you've lost anyone, no matter what the circumstance has been, if it's been murders, if it's been things like that, reminder that the reason I'm feeling this is because I love so GD much. Right? Right. Beautiful. Let's get one more message for this day. I don't know if you guys want me to do crystals that you should hold for the day, too. I might do that. Let me see if you need that. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what they just put in my mind. Hold a GD Moonstone. Do you like I'm saying GD? GD Moonstone, right? Especially with this new moon energy. New moons are all about setting your intentions. Moonstone, um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it just popped in my head. It says, what's your life purpose? <laughs> That's what the this deck specifically says for Moonstone. What's your life purpose? Yeah. Uh, stop looking externally. I don't mean that in a mean way. Just stop looking externally. You know, trust with the inner murmurings, trust your higher self, and really go back to that inner child of like, what brings me joy? What do I love to do? Because you're not meant to work at a cubicle all day, all day, all day, and be miserable. No, you're like the moon. You flow. Also, look at how cute these are. <laughs> all right. Any messages for the collective for July 20th? Oh my gosh, the deck just started vibrating. Oh my gosh. Okay. And creative was underneath that, which we already know. Guys, you can't make this shit up. It says, water my dreams. Oh, I think that's so sweet. Like in this sacral chakra where I start my creation, what can I do today in the here and now to give it a little, uh, a little boost? Do I need to start making a plan? Do I need to take care of myself? Okay, so what? Whatever it is, listen to you, your inner murmuring. What can I do in the here and now that brings me joy that I can start creating this, this energy of playfulness, creativity, abundance. All I deserve is on the way to me, but like a seed, my dreams too must be watered. My belief in germ determination is what will make them grow. I'll be patient throughout this journey. It is all unfolding at the perfect time. Yes, it is. Everything in divine timing. You are healing. You are growing. And really reminding you that during these times of outside craziness, I'm a sovereign being and I can go within. But also really watch your thoughts. Watch your words. Same thing as that queen of swords I saw pop out in reverse. Just watch it. It doesn't mean that you're fucked if you think a negative thought or if you say something mean. Yes, it has intentions behind it, but it doesn't mean you're fucked and you're a terrible person. And the first step to watching your thought pattern and like being open with your heart is noticing when you are judging, noticing when you aren't offering forgiveness or noticing where those traumas still lie, where I am triggered, right? And as soon as I notice those, I can start to understand why I'm acting that way and observe it. But I can only control myself. I can't control out there. I'm a sovereign being and I can go within any time I want to. Okay, so I'm gonna read this one more time. Water my dreams. All I desire is on its way to me, but like a seed, my dreams too must be watered. My belief and determination is what makes them grow. I'll be patient throughout this journey. It is all unfolding in perfect time. Yes, yes it is. I promise. How beautiful is that? And also, like, I want to go back to the thought pattern, too, with keeping the thought patterns in, like, as high frequency as you can. It doesn't mean you can't be sad. It doesn't mean you can't feel things. But just watching, tipping the scales to a higher frequency. How do we do that? Affirmations by having gratitude. And that's why I wanted to do this. I wanted to do something that I could have affirmations to tell you guys, too. I wanted to teach you, hey, this is why you feel why you're feeling. But here you are. You are abundant. You are watering your creative ideas. These are quite literally the same creative card. These are the palettes of duality also. How beautiful is that? Okay, guys, so I'm sending you love, light, but I also want you to know you're safe, guarded, guided, and protected, okay? Thank you for being here. Happy new moon. Set those intentions. Do what's best for you. Go with it, okay? I love you. Bye.